muskies and welcome to the first book talks of the 2020-2021 school year. Uh, book talks start off this year going to be virtual, but I have three awesome books to tell you about today. All three of these books are available in the Muskie Library, um, and if they're checked out, you can always have our library staff put a book on hold for you so that you will be the first to get it when it comes available. The first book for I have for you today is Acceleration by Graham McNee, and this is an all-time favorite in the Muskie Library. It's also the number one book that Mr. Halpin recommends anytime anybody asks him for a good book to read. So one reviewer described this book as a read in one gulp story. They said they couldn't put it down. The chapter endings literally drag you on to the next line. And the showdown with the killer is so well done that they found their heart pounding. It really is a suspenseful and fabulous book. So this story takes place in Toronto during the summer and 17 year old Duncan is working for the Toronto Transit Authority and one of his jobs is he's in charge of organizing and cataloging the lost and found. And between Jacob, the cranky old man who runs the place and the endless dusty boxes overflowing that he has to go through and catalog and sort, um, Duncan is just about done with this job. However, he finds a little leather book that is filled with dark and dirty secrets from the twisted mind of a serial killer. The serial killer is stalking his prey on the subway and writing about it in this book. So Duncan starts to read it and he can't believe what he's reading and he has to make a tough decision. What would you do with this little book and how far would you go if you were trying to catch a madman? So this is seriously one of our most popular books. Every time I book talk it, it gets checked out. Um, it's also pretty short. It's only about 200 pages, which is great. Um, and students always read it quickly. The fact that it's a thriller and mystery really appeals to many readers. Um, I would recommend it to anyone who likes mystery and suspense. Um, and it is a serial killer book without being gory or gruesome. The second book I have for you today is The List by Siobhan Vivian. And this book has a fantastic storyline. It happens every year before homecoming. The list is posted all over school. Two girls are picked from each grade. One is named the prettiest and one is named the ugliest. The girls who are picked aren't quickly forgotten. They become the center of attention and each one reacts differently to the experience. This book takes you into the lives of eight very different girls struggling with issues of identity, self-esteem, and judgment from their peers. Prettiest or ugliest, once you're on the list, you'll never be the same. I'm gonna read you a real quick excerpt from the first couple pages of the book. For as long as anyone can remember, the students of Mount Washington High are, have arrived at school on the last Monday in September to find a list naming the prettiest and the ugliest girl in each grade. This year would be no different. Roughly 400 copies of the list currently hang in locations of various conspicuousness. One is taped above the urinal in the first floor boys bathroom. One covers the just announced cast for the fall drama production of Pennies from Heaven. And one is tucked between pamphlets for dating violence and depression in the nurse's office. The list is affixed to lockers, taped inside classroom desks, stapled to bulletin boards. No one knows for sure who authors the list each year or how the responsibility is passed along, but secrecy has not impeded tradition. If anything, the guaranteed anonymity makes the judgments of the list appear more absolute, impartial, and unbiased. The list is refreshing in that sense. It can reduce an entire female population down to three clear-cut groups, prettiest, ugliest, and everyone else. So this book, book seems to be really popular at this time each year. It's easy for high school students to relate to the stress and judgment and peer pressure of beginning a new school year, um, but it really is a fantastic read. The last book I wanna to recommend to you today is All American Boys by authors Jason Reynolds and Brian Kiley. This book was widely popular this spring and summer and was sold out or back ordered in most stores. This book takes a deep look at race and has been, had renewed popularity because of the Black Lives Matter protests. So it all started with one bag of chips. That's what 16 year old Rashad is looking for at the center bodega. He find, what he finds instead is a fist happy cop, Paul Galuzzo, who mistakes Rashad for a shoplifter, mistake, mistakes Rashad's pleadings that he stole nothing for belligerence, mistakes Rashad's refusal to leave the bodega as resisting arrest, and mistakes Rashad's every flinch at every punch the cop throws as further resistance and refusal to stay still. There is one witness, Quinn Collins, a varsity basketball player and Rashad's classmate who has been raised by Paul since his father died in Afghanistan, and a video camera. Soon the beating is all over the news and Quinn is getting threats and accusations of racial brutality. 
Quinn refuses to believe that the man who has basically been his savior could possibly be guilty. But then Rashid is absent and absent again and again. And the basketball team, half of who are Rashad's best friends, start to take sides. And so does the school and so does the town. Simmering tensions threaten to explode as Rashad and Quinn are forced to face decisions and consequences they'd never considered before. So this amazing book was written by two different award-winning authors, Jason Reynolds and Brandon Kiley. One black author and one white author tell the story from two different perspectives, one black main character and one white main character. The two perspectives capture the complications from a single violent moment that could be ripped from today's headlines instead of five years ago when the novel was written. Again, all three of these books are available in the Muskie Library. Stop down and check one out or place it on hold. Both hybrid and virtual students also have the option of ordering books using our new Book Dash service instead of visiting the library. I'll post a link to the Book Dash how-to video below as well as a link to the order form to order books. I'll be back again next week with more book talks. Let me know if you have any requests and make sure you leave a comment below to let me know what you're reading.